It's been 65 days since majority leaders gaveled in Iowa lawmakers, and they still have plenty of work left to do. And WHO 13 Zach Fisher shares how the conservative majority in the state house has some big decisions to make this week. Just over one month left in the Iowa legislative session, and we're still talking about potential education changes coming from the House chamber. Now the second final deadline is a big deal. Iowa Senate Republicans are going to have to make decisions on those policies. And we all know what happens when restructure happens. It takes forever, and then the, our vulnerable children are going to pay the price. We want to make sure that we're giving our opportunity for our school districts to be able to succeed and that we're not tying their hands. And just within the last several days, the House Republican caucus wanting to make more restrictions on hemp-related products in the state. I was in hemp retail licenses across Iowa, and a majority of those would close. They've got five-year leases with landlords that they wouldn't be able to pay. It'd be a, a very significant economic impact on Iowa. We did not pass the hemp program as a closet recreational marijuana program. Now the Iowa Senate Republicans having to make plenty of decisions on House Republican education policy. They have a decision of their own to make relating to SSA funding for the public school districts for next year. At the State House, Zach Fisher, WHO 13 News. Zach will have more on the Senate Republicans needing to make a decision on next year's school funding increase, or the first budgets will have to be pushed back for districts. Their deadline is this coming Friday.